One of the questions that everybody had when looking at the new Kong vs. Godzilla trailer is, why is Kong so goddamn big? I mean, look at him, dude's been juicing. But seriously, why is Kong so big? Well, one thing that I want to inform people on who are new to this monster verse is that this is not the same King Kong that was in 2005 Peter Jackson's King Kong. This is a completely new iteration for anyone who is new to the monster verse. So, no, we're not talking about 1933's King Kong, not the 1970s King Kong. It's sure as hell not the 2005 King Kong directed by Peter Jackson. This Kong is from the movie Kong Skull Island 2017. As an adolescent, this Kong was 104 feet. His parents reached to be almost 200 feet. But it still begs the question, why is King Kong the same size as Godzilla if not bigger? Well, here are a couple theories. Theory number one, the hollow earth radiation made him grow bigger. Now Kong has been fighting near and in the hollow earth for a couple of years now. He's been chasing back skull crawlers and even fighting them inside of the hollow earth. And who knows what other creatures he could have fought while being in the hollow earth. We even get a few glimpses of him fighting the war bats and other bat like creatures. Not to mention even staying on top of Skull Island is full of radiation. That could have severely impacted his growth. That could even be the reason on why all the Kongs got to the size that they are today anyway. It's not too far fetched. When you look back at Remorak, the biggest skull crawler, he was actually in the hollow earth for a couple of years until he got out to fight Kong and by that time he was way bigger than he was when he killed Kong's parents. Reason number two, steroids. Okay I know a lot of people are gonna look at me crazy when I bring up this point but really think about this trailer. In the trailer we can see Kong with a collar with green juice inside of it. A lot of people were saying this is an anesthesia or some type of thing to sedate him but when we take a second look at the trailer we can see when Kong is knocked out he is considerably smaller than he was when he stands up to fight Godzilla. Now this could just be another wacky scale thing that all movies do but considering this is a pretty big movie and they're trying to stay consistent with the sizes, then I'm pretty sure that this can be something that we can factor in. Not to mention, putting Kong to sleep can be bad for a couple of reasons. If Godzilla showed up while Kong was sedated, that would basically end the fight right there, if there would even be a fight to begin with. Another reason is they already showed Kong acting up on the boat a couple times in the trailer. When he was acting up on the boat, they just used the girl to calm him down. Now, if they had anesthesia in his collar, that would have been a good time to use it, but they didn't. They used the girl. So it could have been some type of Roy juice. But then again, it's just a theory and all speculation. Number three, Kong simply grew. All right, all right, before all the Godzilla fans give me hate for this one, just listen. I know he was almost the same size as his parents in the movie. And for anyone to say that he was the same size as his parents, you're wrong. His parents were nearly 200 feet, as mentioned in the Birth of Kong comic. Kong was only 104 feet, so he did have a little bit to go before he became the full size. But considering the rest of his Kongs were actually killed off and he wasn't, that actually brings up an idea. Maybe the Kongs continue to grow after adulthood, much like crocodiles. Most of them, if not all of them, didn't get the chance to live out their adulthood due to constant war with the skull crawlers and other creatures on Skull Island. And since Kong was the only one to live long enough to experience experience his adulthood, he could have grown immensely, having over four decades to get big enough to fight Godzilla. Now I'm not saying that any of these theories are actually canon, these are all my speculation and thoughts. Now with all these thoughts and speculation, another question comes to mind. Will this increase in Kong's size be an upgrade or a downgrade, seeing as most people say that if he gets bigger he won't be as agile or as fast? But as we see in the trailers, this is just not true. Kong is seen jumping from building to building, jumping from mountain to mountain on Skull Island, even jumping at Godzilla at the end, meaning he's still as agile as he was as a kid, if not more agile. Let me explain. Most of these things have to do with his actual bone structure and his muscles. Apes are designed to be extremely agile. And not only is Kong agile, he's also very strong, smart as well. So will this upgrade in Kong's size be able to help him fight Godzilla? Well, I say absolutely so, yes. I know a lot of people are already mad that he's this size to begin with, but considering this is a Godzilla vs Kong movie, I really doubt that they would make Kong smaller than Godzilla. This is just something that most fans are going to have to get over. This also doesn't make Godzilla any less capable of killing Kong. If anything, Kong would be a bigger target for Godzilla. Either way, I say this fight is 100% equal. Godzilla and Kong have enough things in their arsenal to take the other one down. This is the biggest that Kong has ever been, and it may be the biggest that Godzilla has ever been as well. In the Legendary Universe, of course. A lot of people were saying that Godzilla was actually smaller in this movie, but I don't think it's true. Yes, there was another picture of Godzilla being right next to an aircraft carrier and being almost the same size as the aircraft carrier. But there's a couple things that we have to remember. The first thing is that Godzilla was horizontal, meaning there's no doubt that if he laid down that he would be longer than the aircraft carrier itself, just like in the 2014 film. But as he's fighting Kong, you can see that he's standing vertically and his tail is almost falling off the boat. Another reason is that this could be a totally different aircraft carrier, one meant to carry military grade helicopters and airplanes. And considering Kong is fairly large in this movie, they're going to need a way bigger aircraft carrier than the one in 2014 that was sized up right next to Godzilla. Either way, I do not think that Godzilla got smaller, I just simply think Kong got bigger. Well, those are my theories on why Kong got as big as he did. Comment down below and tell me why you think Kong got bigger or who your favorite kaiju is in this monster verse. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this movie. If you guys haven't seen my TikTok, it's Chicken Lord McCluckins or you can just type in Wade Willie TV. I do other things on the kaijus and the monsterverse there. 
Thank you guys for joining me and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Thank you.